Why are you taking multiple turns? This is suspicious. Show me your ID. This innocent man was going to his home at night. The officer started following him. And as soon as the man stopped his car, the officer approached his car, accused the man of being suspicious, and demanded for license, registration, and proof of insurance. However, the man is well aware of his rights. He refused to provide any details and questioned the reason for the stop. The officer does not know what to answer. Out of frustration, he starts flashing the lights on the man and accuses him of taking multiple turns, stating that I was behind your car and you took multiple turns. Watch what happens next. Share your opinion in the comments. So we turn his lights on as soon as we pulled up here. Evening, sir. Deputy Ross of the Sheriff's Office. How you doing? You got your license, registration, proof of insurance with you tonight. What's the nature of the stop? As soon as I know who you are, I'll be happy to explain that. Is this Nazi Germany? Do I got to provide papers before you tell me why? Well, if I don't know who I'm talking to, in case you run off or flee, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. So if you don't mind providing your identification, I'd be happy to go forward with you. Well, I would take the key out if I could, but I can't. Okay, no problem. I would still like to know why I'm being stopped. I'd be happy to explain that to you as soon as you provide me with identification, sir. Are we in Nazi Germany? No, we're not. I think you know the answer to that question. Okay. I don't think Nazi Germany exists anymore. Exactly my point. Okay. You do realize in order to get ID from somebody, you have to have a reason and articulate that reason for the stop, right? I'm well aware of how it works. <laughs> well, you do, you do realize I'm a constitutionalist, so I know this shit. Okay. So, unless you can articulate... You, you this is my property, yes. Is property. Well, I don't live here, but this is my property. This is where you're staying? Okay. This is not where I'm staying. But I own this property. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. And I knew you were following me. I knew I used my turn signals. I knew I wasn't speeding. As soon as I seen you on the side of the road, I seen you hit your f***ing brake lights. I knew you were going to f*** with me. I knew exactly what you were going to do. There's nothing wrong with my car. Every light on my car works. Yes, sir. So what's the nature of the stop? Well, the nature of the stop is when you went by, it didn't look like there was a front bumper. And then as I was behind the car trying to run a registration, you took multiple turns and it appeared to be evading me. All I'm doing is checking out what's going on. <laughs> you better get your goddamn supervisor. Okay, when is it illegal to make turns? I say it was illegal to make turns. Dude, we both know where this is going and you know you have no reason to pull me over. Okay. All you need in Michigan is reasonable suspicion to make a traffic stop. Yes, you have to have a RAS. But what is your single articulable suspicion? Uh, it appeared you were trying to avoid police contact. Bullshit. It looked like you had a bumper on the front of the car when you went by. Dude, I'm not giving ID. Because I didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. Is this your car? It's in my dad's name, yes. It's in your dad's name? Yep. Okay, sir. <laughs> Dude, this is going to make an awesome YouTube video. You just admitted that I committed no crime or no traffic infraction. When the fuck is it illegal to make turns? Well. There is a bumper on my car. Well, it's... It's Come on, man. This is bull****. Out. Come on. You know it's bull****. Just okay. leave me alone. Okay, man. You know this is bull****. Just leave me the f alone. I'm not doing nothing. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You have a good night. One more traffic stop. This innocent man was pulled over for a traffic violation. The officer accused him of speeding. Fun fact, the officer writes him a ticket for going five miles over the limit. Like, really? Ticket for going just five miles over the limit? This is also not proven. This is what the officer assume. The man did provide his license and registration, but he is frustrated with the stop, stating that he was taking a U-turn and the officers do not have any proof of his speeding. This triggers the officer and he threatens the man for writing a ticket for disorderly conduct. Watch what happens next. Share your opinion in the comments. I wasn't speeding, I was doing the speed limit. We can hear your car, the tire screech. That's what alerted us. We heard your tire back then. That wasn't my tire. It was your tire. Okay, I mean... We saw you flying by. Uh, well, Everyone looked that was over there. Okay, so... I mean, you're saying I wasn't doing the speed limit. Did you clock me? You just said you went 35. That was just speed so, limit. It's 35 to here. No, it's 30. Oh, There's okay, no so... 35 you, all right, so you're so going to write me up. I'm going to write you for 35. I'm going to write you for the turn here. Yeah, let me okay. see your license and registration. Well, you can do all you got to do. I know I can. I'm recording you, too, That's so fine. you don't need to get an attitude. That's fine. Can I have your license yeah. and registration for yeah. the fifth time? Yeah, Thank I will. Five miles, that ain't, that ain't nothing. Legal U turn, too. Hey, we could take it to court then. Fine. Right, 
Y'all don't have nothing better to do than fuck with a f***ing veteran. Don't get locked up in DLC. There's kids and people walking by. Don't swear in public like that. Get locked up. So it's not a free country no more? To swear like that and disturb people, disturb the peace? There's, there's nobody around conduct. me. There's somebody right there and there's somebody right there. Okay. That's disorderly conduct. Okay. You have your registration. Oh, I thought I handed it to you. No, you did not. You just gave me a license. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Right with you. Yeah. Everybody else makes it makes U turns around here, but y'all gonna whatever, man. That's fine. We'll just take it to court. Let's just tell the judge I needed to make a U turn so I can get in line to eat dinner. Okay. I guess you can't make a U turn. <laughs> So you said you're writing me up for assuming you, I was doing 35 you just then? just told me you were doing 35 miles per hour, sir. That's what I'm writing you up for. Anything else? Five miles, huh? Is there anything else, sir? No, just write the ticket so we can go see the judge then. I don't have time for this. I know you don't. I know. Right. You don't need to be a smart. You mind stepping on the sidewalk? Appreciate it. Anything else, you officer? Mr. Smith, A. Smith. Officer. No, Mr. Smith to me. You work for me. I'm a taxpayer, public servant. Where do you work? Don't worry about where I'm having a 30. What copyrights are a fucking five over? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, we're doing 45 or 50. Well, did you, got, did you, did you pace me or nope, did you? I heard, I heard your engine right by. Well, my truck is loud as a V8. Never seen you, that's, not, that's, that's not, that's not, that assumption is, is going to work in court, bud. Yep, that 35 and a 30 will. But you said I was doing 45, so you don't even know. I have all the people that are waiting outside. Everyone right there saw. They they saw a truck going by, but no. Uh, by. Okay, like, well, are they professional? Everyone are they professional? Are, you gonna go talk are they professional? That's a dangerous speed. Are they? Are, did, did you know for a fact I what I was any, going? Anybody, everyone knows a dangerous speed when they see one. Well, that's just, what that was. well no, not in the court of law. Well, it, well, then why is the speed limit thirty then? That's what it is thirty. Why were you doing forty-five? I wasn't doing forty-five. Can I see the radar gun? I have no clue. We don't need a radar gun. Well, you're sitting there saying I'm speeding, but there's no proof. Else that was over there. Okay, well, we'll just was see. What's a reasonable speed for this road, sir? Well, I was doing the speed right around the speed limit. Right around. Well, let's take it to the judge, then, and see what the judge says. This innocent man is stopped by the lady police officer based on a description of a white Dodge truck used in camper thefts. The man, who had not committed a crime, was asked to identify himself and was told that his truck matched the description. However, the police did not have any additional information beyond the truck's color and make. The man argued that this was not reasonable, articulable suspicion and refused to give his license unless it was a stop and ID under North Carolina law. This triggers the lady police officer and she insisted that it was a call for service, not a traffic stop, and that the man would be detained until a supervisor arrived and threatens to take him to jail if he does not comply. Watch what happens next. Share your opinion in the comments. Let's just get this on the record. I have to be suspected of committing a crime, about to commit a crime, or had committed a crime. I didn't do any of those. I did what I could to dispel your suspicion. I told you exactly what was going on. I showed you the apps on my phone. I show you the plane here that's an emergency aircraft diverting to Dublin. I told you exactly what's going on. And in fact, here's the security code. 135 or 134 is what the security officer told me the code was to the bathroom. And you can go over there and verify that. To identify me for suspicion. That, you have to have a reasonable, articulable suspicion that a crime so had been committed. Your vehicle matches the description of camper seconds. What's the description of the vehicle? We have a white Dodge truck. There's a lot of white Dodge trucks. That's very accurate. So you're here. We're getting a call from okay. security who manages Z-Max. Okay. Your truck matches the description of the truck that is used to steal campers. Mm -hmm. Your truck comes back to a business. Does this description of the truck that steals campers, did they get a license plate? No. Did they get anything other than a no. white Dodge truck? No. That's not reasonable, articulable suspicion this that this is the truck. Because, exactly. That's why I have to identify you because if you... Identifying me is not going to help you find out whether or not I've committed any crime. No, but if committed any crime tonight, then I know I can eliminate you because I came in front of you. You, you can't eliminate me. What if I came back to steal a camper? 
Well, then I already have your information. But but you see what I'm saying? You just have it doesn't to make sense. It does. I don't have to give you my license if it's not a stop on ID state and I didn't commit a crime. So can we have a supervisor, area, please? I am a sergeant. It doesn't make any sense, Sergeant. That's fine. You are here. Okay, in an what area. if I decline to give you my ID? Then I am I free to go? No. I'm not free to go. No. You said it wasn't a traffic stop. No. It's, it's not a, a traffic stop. But a call for service yes. isn't enough. Yes, it is. It's not in the enough. State of North Carolina, yes, it's it is. It's not enough, Sergeant. All right, well, hold on. I'll get a lieutenant out here, and we'll either determine if you're going to jail or not because you're failing. Why to would? Wait, 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 hold on. Why would I go to jail for a conversation? Because you're not giving me your identification. Okay. Sergeant, Miss Collins, mm -hmm. let me tell you the problem with policing. Mm -hmm. You guys are so quick to throw people in jail. I didn't do anything wrong. I just so told you so what what I was doing. Your driver's license. Because so I, I believe. Did we'll you put your information in? The here's call, why. And we're done. Here's why. You swore an oath to defend the Constitution. You don't have reasonable articulable suspicion. I do at this point. You You're don't. Area, Here's what I'll do. I'm going to give you my license and I'm going to file a complaint. That's fine. We're going to make this a YouTube video. That's fine. We're going to make it go famous. That's fine. And Miss Miss Collins, I apologize because there's a lot of people out there doing a good job. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that, that that you're doing the right thing. That's fine. Oh wait, wait. can I see this for a second? In a second. 27 out of California. What I should have done, ma'am, is put it on the dashboard and made you take it. It's going to be out of California. Add Complaint for them now? Yes, sir. They're open? Will, will, yes. they will give me one? Yes, so if you okay. go to the address, And listen, listen. It's not about you. That's what I get it. it. It's about the Constitution, I and I believe. I understand. And I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I will stand corrected, but we're going to go through the process That's and fine. figure it out. That's completely fine. So... You, it's, you know what I mean? Like, I it's just you. it's just asinine. Do you want me to write it down, the address for you, or you can put sure. it in your GPS? No, you can write it down, and I'll put it in the GPS. Oh, I mean, I can put it in the GPS now. That's well, fine. I'm just, yeah. whatever's easiest for you. Yeah. It just, my ID does nothing for you. It doesn't. It's like... It does. It don't take offense to this. ID is like crack for cops. It just is. I mean, I watched the YouTube videos. I'm sure you must as well. It's crazy. It's crazy how, how how policing these days want to lock everybody up. What's the address? It's four should, yes, sir. Oh, okay. As long okay. as we're not hot on a call or anything yeah, yeah. like that, sure. they should be able to come time. up and take the complaint form from you. Um, other than that... And again, man, I you it. understand where I'm coming I from. It. It's just like... like like what's happening now that like I just pulled over to, to watch a thing, you know? I get it. Being safe, being I safe, understand. and just because but at the same time, there's you're a, in an area that your vehicle I'm not, matches the description. I know not, you don't like, know. Like this is not a bad area, know. right? I get that. I know you don't know. But I don't know, but it's not like come on. We get a call from the people who do the security here. Your car, your truck matches the description. So I have to obviously get out, talk with you, identify you, make sure I know who you are. I mean, what you could do, what you could have done, because I wasn't even paying attention, is, is park back there, ways back, not turn on your lights, and watch to see what I was going to do or doing. I honestly don't have the time to do that. Yeah, well, I mean, getting my ID does nothing. Like, here's my schedule, just so you know. And I'm in a parking lot, looking at my phone, and the guy drove right by me and took off right down this road leaving. Mm -hmm. And then I stayed there like another three to five minutes, and then just drove away at a normal rate of speed. Like, I'm not in a hurry. I got you. And then pulled right out and pulled right over here. So, and here's the thing too. Using your, how long have you been a police officer for? Six going on seven years. Six going on seven years. And again, this is just how I talk. Why the f would I leave a place if I was scoping some place out and then park right here in front of the place? I know criminals are stupid. I was gonna say, but they're not that stupid actually unfortunately i have seen them do dumber things but but like but i don't know you but, so but i gave you a good explanation I, yes, and i I've was honest with you give me good explanations that are criminals and if i wasn't driving a company truck i would not have given you my id and for you to threaten to take me to jail just because you didn't like what i said that's why i'm gonna go do the complaint that's fine that's fine. Up. That's fine. sorry about the lane it's just I've, the way I've, it all I've heard worse and been called worse uh, but at I'm this not, point in my life. I'm I know. not directing it at you. I get it. I'm, I'm directing it Temple. in general. I got you. It's good to be frustrated, and that's how some people release. Venting. Yes. Do you need anything else? Don't hesitate to holler. Okay. Be safe and have a good night, okay? Thank you. You too. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel. Our goal is to educate people on First Amendment rights. Make sure you like our videos as much as possible.
We will see you in the next video.